Hey guys, I want to share a really quick and uh, very low cost uh, solution for uh, improving the, the visibility of your diver settings. And all you need is your favorite diver. And in this case, uh, we like to use the, the Dreamweaver Deeper Divers, but this tip knows no brand so whatever your favorite brand is it'll work just fine for that too the other thing you need is a contrasting color uh, paint marker in this case i'm using uh, tuster's brand uh, gloss white to contrast with the uh, black background on the uh, deeper diver gloss flat uh, satin finish doesn't make a difference as long as the color contrasts with the, the diver color straight out of the package. You might notice that uh, the, the settings that are listed on there or stamped into the plastic can be sometimes difficult to read in low light conditions um, or even maybe you have some eyesight that's not nearly as good as it used to be. Uh, now's a great time to take that paint marker, make those settings really bright, really visible, uh, make them larger if you so choose. And uh, like for the next time that you're on the water, they'll be extremely easy to see. So again, in this case, I'm using the white to contrast with the, the black color of the diver. Uh, conversely, you can use a black marker with, or a black paint marker with a uh, white diver. Uh, black also works well with uh, clear and uh, the chrome divers as well. These things are $3, uh, $4, and uh, they really go a long way. So uh, if you get just two basic colors such as white and black, it can really go a long way in marking up all those divers uh, really cost effectively. So you can see already that even from about a foot away that those settings start to disappear. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark that zero mark really nice and obvious. Okay, and from there, each of those lines, a three, two, and one setting. Now, if you're only going to use this diver on only on a one setting, then you could eliminate the other two options as well. That's totally up to you. And I'll put another coat on there in just a moment. I'm going to let that dry. And what I like to do is make these directions really obvious. So there's absolutely no confusion about what side that diver is going to go out, depending on how this ring is rotated. like you can even mark the zero or even some of these halfway marks but uh, it's pretty obvious if uh, for example you're turned or rotated to the right and it's somewhere between the one and the two it's approximately a one and a half you don't necessarily need to mark each individual uh, setting line just to make it easy so as you can see, those are already standing out really nicely. Uh, it will be quite obvious about what setting that your diver is set to, no matter what the light conditions are, or uh, like I said earlier, even, even for uh, the eyesight that's not doing nearly as well as it used to. Now what you could also do is use uh, a black Sharpie for example, on a, on a white diver or a clear and even a silver sharpening and these black divers. The only thing is it just doesn't hold up nearly as well as the, the paint markers. So, you know, if that's, you know, if the Sharpies are the only thing that you have available at the, the local store, that's fine. Uh, just be cognizant that you're going to have to do it more frequently or reapply more frequently than uh, than they would with the paint. Hope you guys enjoyed that really quick tip and uh, hopefully that makes things a little bit easier for getting those divers out quickly and uh, tangle free.